Okay, John, the first thing we're going to do is download PuTTY. So I'll go here. Go here. Scroll down. Oh, go to download. And then download here. Okay, once you've got this file, it is saved onto your desktop. You could open up PuTTY, select serial. You have to select what COM port the cable is plugged into. You can go to your device manager ports. You'll see here that we're COM5. So I'll make this COM5. Change the speed to 115200 and then hit open. Then um, on the Roomba, I'll now press the clean button and you'll see um, some information coming back from the Roomba. Okay, to put the Roomba into diagnostic mode, I'll show you how to do that. Okay, we're going to first press the clean button, hold it down till, till it turns off. Then we are going to keep our finger on the dock button. Then we're going to press the clean, keeping our fingers on the dock and the clean. And we're going to press the spot six times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then all off. Um, you will then hear that tune which is what you want to hear okay um, to to move through the tests you just press the dock button so um, you'll see factory test one come up um, now factory test one is not on the 630 um, but you'd see it on the 780 so again we'll press dock um, and then the next test is for the bumpers so what you do now is um, you just press the left and the right bumpers. So you'll be pressing here and then you'll be pressing here. Um, now um, you'll see there that as I press them, I've got two passes. We'll progress to the next step. Um, this is um, to check the, the cliffs at the at the front, so the front left, so you just can pick up the Roomba and then put it back down and pick it up again to do the right side, put it back down, try that again. It's interesting. Get right up. Uh, might be because of the um got to move the um the spinner out of the out of the way. Yeah, so the spinner the spinner was blocking the, the sensor. Um, we'll check the cliffs at the front. Up, down, up, down. All good. Then we'll check the bumpers. Um, these aren't the bumpers, these are the sensors at the front. Um, what you do is you just um, get a bit of paper. Um, make your video for John. Then you just put it on the left side, then go off, pass on the right hand side. Pass, that's it. And then at the front, pass on the right, pass, and then in the center, pass. There's a couple there, I think. There you go. Okay, wheel drop, you just pick it up and press the left button, press the left wheel in and then out, and then let it go, and then the right one, push it in and let it go. Then we will press the dock button. The Omni receiver test, I'll demonstrate that. Let me pause this first. Okay, um, for this test, um, all you do is get a um, one of these babies, um, turn it on, um, then put it near the front bumper, um, near this sensor here. And then you remove it, and we should get a pass. 
next test, the binoculars. Um, to do this, you've got to um, get your home base um, and basically put it near the left and then away. Hang on. Near the left and then near the right sensor and then away. Somewhere here. Uh, what's going on? There we go. So you're putting the, the home base near that sensor. Okay. Okay, the battery sensor that just you do nothing, it just does it itself. Okay, now the left wheel is moving. So we can check the current, we see we're 110 there. Um, then what you do for the stall test, you actually grab the, um, the left motor and stop it from turning. And you let it go after you see the pass come on the screen. The right wheel, good current, 115. We'll then grab the right wheel until the clean goes off and on again. There we go. And it's doing the encoder test. The Stasius test is what you do there is you um, just rotate this wheel. Okay. Now the next test is going to involve these brushes. I'm going to actually remove one of them because it makes it hard to test the sensor if that one's there. Okay, so now I'll do the next test. I'll just pause it for a minute. Okay, we're now up to test 16. Press the button. Okay, the main brush is spinning. Okay, and what you do is you get a screwdriver. Install it and then let it go. All passing, then you hit dock again. Now you test the debris sensor by just getting a screwdriver or something and tapping the sensor. The vacuum starts up. All good there. Side brush. Now I'm going to then hold the brush to stall it. All good. Okay, now um, we now check the charging circuit. So we'll remove the power from the docking station and plug it, plug this directly into the charging side on the robot, which is here. Takes a little while, but we uh, get the pass. We press the dock button again. Does some more tests. All good. All good. All good. Oh, I did a mistake on test. To go back to test 24, just hit the spot button to go back. So now we're doing 24. Now what you've got to do is you've got to get the home base here, pull out the cable that you plugged into the Roomba, plug it into the base, and then put the Roomba on the home base. And just position it. Well, that one failed. I think that failed because um, it wasn't positioned correctly. Um, one moment.